sheriff's office to get the appropriate contractors out there to the rig. Uh, so I'll uh, let the we have that. Uh, now we're going to have uh, East Bank Consolidated Fire Chief Dave Tibbetts. Um, he handles fire suppression for the East Bank Consolidated. He has worked in conjunction with the state on suppression of the uh, of the rig, and I'm going to let him take it from here. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning. We had the, uh, some resources come in, la came in last night from the uh, river to, to General Kelly's a fire boat. We had that resource here at the dock. We were not in the need of it. We didn't need it. Uh, when, when the sheriff and I went out this morning, along with his crew and staff, we did make uh, entry onto the rig uh, and found, as he said, a, a gas line. That gas line has been shut off. It's from a, quite a distance, so it's gonna burn, it's gonna burn itself out and that's doing what we want it to do at this point. So we feel confident from the firefighting aspect that we, we have control of this situation at the present time. And of course, also helping with search and rescue and telling us that there, that no, no visible all sheen was, has been seen at this point because it was a natural gas burn. We have Commander Ford from the U.S. Coast Guard. We have a Coast Guard state base station right here in Lake Pontchartrain. Commander? Yes, uh, today we've uh, covered 30 square miles of, of area with our uh, helo from Air Station uh, New Orleans, along with our 45 response boat and 29 response boat, small from uh, Station New Orleans. It's an ongoing search effort. It's been a coordinated effort with our state and local partners, and we'll continue on through the day. We do have to carry the search uh, conditions, as the sheriff mentioned. We will uh, reassess things as we move out through the morning. Our emergency management director, um, Joe Valiente, has been coordinating this with all of the emergency response agencies. Joe? Uh, uh, currently, everything's moving smoothly. We've set up unified command early on with the, with the situation. Uh, Kenner reacted quickly uh, with the uh, police and the emergency management. They were able to push out all the necessary notices so that we can make our notices and uh, get things rolling as it related to addressing the fire and the, re the uh, search and rescue mission. So, uh, Sheriff Lapinto and Chief uh, Tibbetts are going to be the leads on this as far as incident commanders and everything seems to be going well. And because this was a mile and a half away from the city of Kenner, some Kenner residents did feel a sonic boom. I'm going to let Mayor Zorn uh, discuss that. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we have been out there. Kenner Fire Department's been out throughout the neighborhoods. Gabriel is the next subdivision over Chateau Lakefront, and then we go into Woodley. They were out there last night. We'll be out there again today. We have no reports of anything. Uh, no factual reports. We had some very, very minor uh, one report of maybe some pebbles hitting a hole. That's, I mean, I don't know anything about how far that goes, but I'm telling you that no structural damage, no kind of resonance in any kind of home at this point. We will continue to do that again in those neighborhoods throughout the city. Uh, we have it set up with the phone line, obviously, to our EOC to get any kind of reports, and we will let you know if anything goes from there. But I feel really confident right now we're in good shape in the city of Kenner. And at this point, I think we have everybody here to take any questions. We do have uh, Mr. Morty Chavez from the state. The state also assisted in helping us with a uh, large fire boat that's in the harbor right now. Obviously, that boat was not used um, at this point, but it was standing by in case it was needed. So we'll be happy to take any questions. Okay, now, what about the victim? Are you, you were searching for someone? I'm glad you asked that. We got Mike Gilliak, the director of uh, emergency management at, uh, at, at East Jefferson General Hospital. Good morning. Um, Last night we transported seven patients total. Five patients went to our level one trauma center university. Two patients went to East Jefferson General. Uh, this morning, an update is the two patients at East Jefferson were discharged during the night. From the trauma center, they moved two patients to the burn center in critical condition. They have one patient currently in ICU in critical condition, and the other two patients at the trauma center were discharged. And what about the person who was the sheriff's office is continuing search and rescue number for that too, Sheriff Latina. Can you elaborate what? on the injuries a little bit more? Was it mainly burns or? Two of the patients in critical condition were, were burn, burn patients and, and from blast injuries, you know, from the, from the initial exposure. Are they headed sure. to Baton Rouge, to the burn center there? Yes. And what? Sheriff, I know that you, there was some confusion if there was an eighth person. Do you, are you for sure that there is an eighth person you're looking for? We, we are fairly confident there is an eighth person. Uh, the Coast Guard has made contact with that person's family already, uh, so they are notified uh, that we have a current search and rescue mission going. What else can you tell us about that, that eighth person? Uh, you know, I don't know what part of their family has been notified or not notified at this point. Uh, you know, we have, we have got out. Uh, they know that we have a search and rescue mission. You know, this is obviously early, and, and they, their family needs the time to, to grieve, and hopefully we'll be able to find them.
Are you some of the reports said that there was cleaning materials that we, were. Uh, I'll sorry. answer that okay. from a helicopter. We we have uh, we had our helicopter with Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office, Coast Guard helicopter, and boats doing search uh, pattern grids. What can you tell us? Is there is this a rig and a platform? Did the rig or the platform? The same thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, we had heard some initial reports that cleaning materials might have been involved in this explosion. Is there any truth to that, or were those just rumors? At, at this point, it's all under investigation. The only person that's been on the, on the rig right now is myself and the fire chief and the fire investigator, just for a preliminary look uh, to see what has to be assessed, right? Uh, th those investigators will get on there later on, hopefully this afternoon, and start figuring out what happened. Can you describe the scene on the rig? What it looked like? I mean, obviously, it was a large fire, a large fire that um, burnt a, a whole bunch of metal and charred it, and it's, but it's a rig. Uh, so, I mean, it's doesn't look pretty up there, but uh, there's parts of the rig that are completely intact and, and others that have been uh, charred because of the fire. How many did, people were How did the victims top? get to shore? Were they uh, plucked out of the water? Or they... uh, there was a, uh, I'll let the Coast Guard, uh, you know, uh, tell you exactly. Go, do you... Some, some were plucked uh, from the water. From There was a boat that was actually on scene uh, with them, and then it was, it was a coordinated effort uh, to get them onto shore, and then... Uh, uh, with working with Kenner PD, and then they took them to the uh, facilities local, local nearby. Did, did any of them make it on shore on their own? I, I do not. I do not have that information. Yeah, I believe there was. We had eight initial victims last night. Whether there was eight on the rig because there was a supply boat that was there also with uh, some additional right. people on it. So uh, I don't know exactly how many were on the rig, but we we were counted for eight people that either were injured because of the fire, whether they were on the supply boat or not, and I believe there were some people that were not injured at all on the supply boat. And this was an active um, production rig, or was it a storage? It, well, I believe it was an active rig that, that feeds, it's a storage rig, it's a storage rig that feeds from other active rigs within the area. Does it drill for, for oil? Is this it's a natural, natural gas. And how what about the rig owner, do you know? They, they are on scene, a representative of them on scene coordinating the contractors in order to make and sure. Who is the rig owner? I'm sorry. Who is the rig owner? I, I don't know. And how long were you guys been searching for that information? As long as it takes. Can you say anything about um, the victims? Are they locals? Are they from Kenner? Do we know where they're from? I, I don't know where they're all from. I know some were from out of town, some were local. Uh, so we have, they're, they're from all over the place. And I think, as a gentleman, you know, we still have an active investigation. We still have an active fire that's out there. Uh, and, and more importantly, we have an active search and rescue uh, mission. Uh, I, I'm happy to update you all later on today. And I think let's let's plan on a, another press conference at 4. And if something else comes, we'll, we'll put something together earlier. We'll let you know. And quick question. How long do you think that fire is going to burn out? It's very low pressure right now. I don't. I mean, but those things can burn for a long period of time. Uh, but that's not going to, and, and, and uh, you know, stop. Being us, for us to be able to do assessment at this point, we, we were able to board the rig. Uh, it, it is burning at a very low pressure, so uh, it just takes time for it to come out of the um, pipe. And you, where do you guys go from here? Well, I mean, we're going to be here for a long period of time. we got to make sure that the contractors can get out there. The sheriff's office is lucky, in which we have some of the boats that we need to get them out. Uh, so we're going to we're going to keep on uh, coordinating with them to get whatever services they need. Can you talk about the impact of the weather on the search? Like, what are the considerations? Are? I mean, the weather, weather is uh, inhibiting it because we have four and five foot seas out there. But, but between the sheriff's office and the Coast Guard, uh, we have the tools in place to get, get done what we need to be done, right? Uh, I mean, do we have 20 boats out there? No, but we don't need 20 boats out there either. Uh, we have the tools in place in order to take care of it, no matter what the conditions are. Sheriff, can you talk, we heard that there was a good Samaritan that helped with one of the rescues. Can you talk about that? Uh, well, every one of our first responders and every person out there is a good, uh, is a good Samaritan. Uh, I, I don't know the specifics about that, uh, but we or had civilian. we had eight civilians that are on that vessel along with the people that were on that barge, mm -hmm. and there may have been other people out there on, on boats. We thank them all for their service. The rig, are there other rigs surrounding this rig, and if so, have had people been evacuated are they still on there no there's no other concerns in any of those so for, from what you're saying seven people were injured and eight person is still missing but there were additional people out there during the time of the blast from what i understand yes
and the good news is we've had a great joint response. All of our neighboring parishes from the River Parishes came in and assisted with us last night. They even had a suppression boat from St. Charles Parish that was out there. So we, we want to thank all of those people that certainly helped us to be able to suppress this as quickly as possible. And of course our hearts and minds go out to the, the families and, and to those people, so the victims still suffering right now. And we certainly hope uh, that this search ends pretty soon. So thank you so much and we'll have another briefing hopefully later this afternoon, like Sheriff said, around 4 o'clock. Perfect. Anybody need any spelling of names? Uh, uh, Zach.